Okay, this is a video to show specifically how to get into King Street Relics, right here. Um, shooting the guns, not required. <laughs> King Street Relics. Um, if you do not have a brick or bottle on you, come back here, because you're going to want one. After you pick up the alcohol, pick up a bottle. We're going to go into the Ruby Dragon. with whatever weapon you've got. Kill the two clickers. All right, two down. Millions to go. Come out here and jump across. This is the roof, but there's a pistol ammo as well as a collectible up here that you can get. This collectible here has the jasmine bakery safe combination on it. And this collectible is a trophy. Now for the bottle, face the bathroom door when you drop down. Okay. Get another one. And then we're going to prepare the door to leave because once you pick up the shotgun, which is pretty much the main reason to come in here, once you have the shotgun, you pretty much might not ever come back in here. Get some stuff, some stuffies, and then shotgun. New weapon, the shotgun. Now, if you did not come in here because you either didn't realize you could or you didn't see it for whatever reason, also, that's why we opened the door beforehand. Because some runners are going to come down after you. They're triggered by you picking up the shotgun. That's why you want to get the door open before you pick up the shotgun. Just so you don't have to fight them in there. Anyway, if you do not get the shotgun here, once you're through Martyr's Gate and up to the top floor of the Fresnel building, You'll get it up there. It'll be a required pickup once you come out on the top floor. So anyway, that's how you got into King Street Relics and got the shotgun. Thanks for watching. Bye.